This program contains material of a disturbing nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Over the last two weeks, Mark Ward has been battling painful bumps that have broken out on his arms and legs. I was thinking, this is bad. This is really bad. This could very well be dead. Mark decides to seek immediate medical attention. For Mark to concede that he needs to go get help from somebody is really big. Janina rushes Mark to the nearest hospital that handles emergencies. But when they arrive, the couple is appalled. It kind of looked like a prison from the outside. It wasn't very clean. It looked like half the buildings were falling down. So we went into the doctor. He looked at him, and he said, well, this is bullus impetigo. Bullis impetigo is a highly contagious skin infection triggered by the staph bacteria. As the infection spreads, it produces painful blisters and fluid-filled cysts. When they told me what it was, I was relieved. Finally, I can get this cleared up. To treat the infection, the local doctor admits Mark to the hospital and places him on a broad spectrum of antibiotics. Then, to ensure the wounds heal, he carries out a painful extra step. They laid me down on a table to clean the wounds, and they scrubbed them, basically just peeling my skin off. I mean, that was the worst thing I'd ever gone through. I thought I was going to die in there. Over the next three days, Mark endures the painful treatment. But it appears to only be making the bumps worse. Whatever they were doing wasn't making it better. I knew that if I didn't get him out of there and he stayed there, it, he was just going to waste away. Against the local doctor's advice, after a three-day stay, Janina checks Mark out of the hospital and they catch the first plane back to the United States. When they land in Arizona, Janina immediately rushes her husband to the ER. Over the next several days, doctors analyze samples of Mark's skin and blood. They took pictures. You see them talking to one another. They were bewildered. They didn't know. Why can't the doctors figure this out with all their training? Eventually, Mark is examined by a medical team, including Dr. Sean Reeder, who suspects that something is alive in his skin. Mark had large centrally ulcerating crusted lesions showing he had an infection which was likely parasitic. The team consults a parasitic expert who confirms their theory. Mark was diagnosed with cutaneous leishmaniasis. Cutaneous leishmaniasis is caused by the flesh-eating parasite leishmania. Inside Mark's body, the parasite attacks his immune system, feeding off the cells and reproducing inside them. As the parasites multiply, the infection spreads, leading to Mark's fatigue and weight loss. They also devastate the surrounding tissue, producing painful ulcers on his skin. I had no idea something so small that we couldn't see could cause that much damage. The surface of the Leishmania parasite is covered in a layer of molecules that have a special purpose. When the parasite enters a body, the host's immune system tries to attack. But thanks to its special coating, the Leishmania parasite tricks the host into thinking it's not a threat. And that allows the parasite to spread. But the doctors have more bad news for Mark. His infection has progressed too far for any medication to take effect. I thought I was going to lose my husband. 
to hear that there's not a cure for it, but what are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to get rid of it? They tell Mark that his body must now fight off the parasite on its own. The parasite can travel through the bloodstream, and it can attack the internal organs. All Mark can do is keep his bumps clean by sterilizing them each day. If the disease did recur, this can lead to death. Mark is sent home, where he and Janina closely monitor the bumps. It was definitely a constant fear that this can go south real quick. Finally, after a few excruciating weeks, something remarkable happens. I woke up one morning, and uh, the swelling had gone down. The sores weren't growing anymore. But as Mark begins to heal, he's left to wonder how he contracted the disease. The life cycle of the Leishmania parasite is dependent on one creature, the sand fly. These tiny insects are about a third the size of a mosquito, and they're found in many tropical and subtropical countries around the world. When an infected sandfly bites a human, it injects the parasite under the skin, where it feeds on the host's immune cells and grows. Mark believes he contracted the infection while doing some yard work in Belize. I was out there in shorts, and I think I got bit by the sand fleas when I was mowing the yard. After that, that I noticed the bites. Today, Mark still bears the scars from his harrowing ordeal, but he's made a full recovery and has regained his strength. He and Janina even continue to spend time abroad. I never stopped going to Belize. There's, there's no way um, Mark would give up traveling and being outside, and me either. The Leishmania parasite infects an estimated one and a half million people around the world each year. Promising vaccines are being developed, but right now there are no drugs to prevent infection. To avoid sand fly bites, travelers to endemic regions are advised to cover bare skin, use mosquito nets, and apply a deep-based insect repellent. 